I have so many spells. I have so many spells, and like 90% of them are virtual spells, but I don't have comprehend languages. Why would you take ritual, ritual spells in this? I wonder. It's not like it takes five days of doing nothing to get <laughs> spell slots back. Well, technically, every day I can get one level of spell slot back. The more I look at these notes, the more they're cracking me up. It is so wild that after seeing all the rules, three of you chose to play casters. Yeah, man. yeah, I was going me... back after, then I read the rules and said, I'm going to play a rogue instead. <laughs> cool I think dogs? my backup character is still going to be a monk. Cool dogs? What are those? But I liked the idea of a little mafia pound. He's a goofy guy. And that I just cries felt, a lot. I just felt the setting fit, like the, the aesthetic fit Ash better as a player. Yeah, it, it was just like, it, it was a little just wild to me that, that it was just like, yeah, even though it takes a week to long rest, I want to play a full caster. Yeah, man. Look, every day I can get a one leveled spell slot back, and once I hit level three, it'll be two, and once I hit level five, it'll be three. Fine. I mean, I honestly, it. it's better than sort of Snorri Gods, which is nothing. Yep, Snorri just basically has to not use spells. <laughs> Ever. Unless it's desperately important. Same thing with Thomas. Thomas doesn't need spells. Thomas is, yeah, Thomas's job is to never use spells and expend all of the spell slots in for smiting with his gun in one fight on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly that. But, Lay yeah, on hands that was... has been pretty nice, though. Same, same thing with my pa channel of Divinity Path to the Grave. It's just the same, the same fight Thomas is going to smite in is the same fight I'm going to make something vulnerable to damage. And it's probably going to be the same thing with Thomas Smith. Yeah, no, it was just, it's, Hopefully. I was expecting at least, like, the short rest classes, so like Monk and Warlock. <laughs> Warlock would have been a good choice. Ranger would have been an excellent choice. Ranger would have been an excellent at some point, get yeah, like a, a feature that you long rest on a short rest, something like that. Really? Well, you get something really. Get yeah, like no, it's an ability at like it's level eleven, but they remove exhaustion on a short rest. Hmm. Ranger might have been, might have been interesting. Would have been good for the travel as well. I mean, Ranger is also amazing because this is a travel heavy campaign. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. So you can play like base Ranger and feel like, yeah, this is I'm actually doing something. I think Barbarian would be well. fine as well. I considered uh, Barbarian, but I wanted to be a little Mafia. I think I'll choose, like, classes and subclasses that benefit more in this campaign than normal. Like, Oath of Conquest, I think it is, gives you, like, more speed to work every day. Yeah. I think so. Uh, Who builds to optimize the game you're in? That's not um, Asahara. Although that wasn't even intentional. I mean, I built to optimize for the Halloween murder game. But... That's the point, though. But that's the point of that game. That is the point it's of not Halloween. the same as. I have no idea a what you have. You have no idea the power you have given me for sure with this character. You have absolutely okay. no idea. I'm not. It's not a point you know who optimizes. None of you have efficiency in Mac tools. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't do nope. that. Well, my point was that we didn't optimize this party. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was that was a fun realization when you all get disadvantage on your navigation checks every day. <laughs> I wouldn't need we don't need to know where we're going. Just walk. We'll get there eventually. All right. Uh, Okay. Do we want to? What, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Here? Let's see. You just are oh, coming back from breaking into his office. It's uh, if I remember correctly, it's like the middle of the. It's the end of the third day, correct? Y'all haven't gone to sleep. It's the end of the third day. We haven't slept yet. 
Yeah, yeah it's the end of the day that he day. got here, I think. Yeah, so it's the end of the day. day. The moon's crashing. The moon, it's crashing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, the, moon, the moon no longer exists. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> some moon? Wow. Not good. Pokemon game. Gone. It's no longer a moon game. It's a nothing game. Enough. Void game. Just, we're in the void now. Um, my dad is listening to somewhere over the rainbow on the ukulele. <sighs> faintly hear it when you talk. Unless Dave shows up, this probably will be a, a short set, a short session. Because you all approaching like a uh, I need the full party moment, not. <laughs> Got a little louder. <laughs> My dad started singing along. Oh, that's what it was. <sighs> it's I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. No, um, I'm sorry for myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. We can, at the very least, uh, before going to sleep. Thomas can finally give Ash yeah. his notes that he's I'll been writing like those a week and a half. Yeah, he only's got he's only got two pages because I'm lazy. But <laughs> I think I tried. I have two lines. <laughs> Most for the whole, for the whole campaign because I lost oh my, my first set of notes. The amount of notes. I, have this campaign. I don't. I'll take notes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. the sake. Uh -oh. Let me take a picture of these. Oh, am I late? Am I dying again? You're good then. You're good then. Okay. Uh, so Let me take a it. picture of these so that you can see them. Also, I'm sorry for my atrocious handwriting. That's just how Thomas writes. That's what I think. Listen, he's got like a third grade education. I'm sorry. You are one of the few people who probably have a good education. Your dad is well off. <laughs> Yeah, but he's dumb. <laughs> and you told me that he had no schooling when I asked, so... Well, fuck, did I? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I think Sam's reasonably educated. At least from... Thomas was, wasn't learning books. He was beating people up. Um... He was beating anyway. up a book. Ash was anyway. beating up a book. Be beating up the books for its information, hit the books literally. Um, uh, as like the night is kind of coming mm -hmm. to the darker night, um, night coming to night, too. As the moon is setting. Yeah. Night squid. Like, go to whichever room is ashes. I tell myself, that, that, why did the moon produce light? <laughs> the sun's light. The moon has its own light. This is a special night. Look, plants. Ex the plants are fighting. <laughs> you are asking the wrong questions. Anyway. Thomas will, uh, like, knock on Ash's door. Like, hey, um, I figured you'd want these, but, and he will just hand her the notes, which I will send in chat. Do you want them in the Shadowlands chat or in the VC? I have no light chat. Or um, both. Either one. Either one. I guess Shadowlands makes more sense. Okay, so the one one of them is in fact ripped down the center. Which one? Which oh, the, one the one that's ripped, ripped nice. down the center. Because oh, I never would have guessed. Ash, Ash at one point was upsetty spaghetti. Why is this? It made Thomas this buddy upsetty spaghetti. He hates me. Why is it like this the weird, super duper weird ass that people used to draw in? <laughs> I was bored when I made these and I doodled as much as I wanted. 
Aww. It felt like Thomas every time he's been, every time he's been described as writing has also been described as mostly doodling. So I figured it should reflect that on the paper. Is that racist? Ask later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. exactly. Did Thomas say he's be he might be better off dead? Wait a goddamn! <laughs> Thomas clearly had a, a moment. Oh, Thomas. Um, if question mark. <laughs> question mark is doing so much work. So. Ash is basically uh, when when she opens the door, she's clearly like getting the bat was about to get in bed, but she's still wearing the flannel. Um, the what? The flannel. Yeah, the flannel. That's gonna make me sad. Okay. Uh, so she starts reading the the that she notices immediately that one of the pages is ripped. But uh, I think he kinda, did that in front of her. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure he ripped it and then put it. Like later, was like, okay, I'm <laughs> kind of, kind of fix it up. Like just at least kept the pages together. If I remember correctly, anyway. Yeah. She starts reading the other one. She's just like nodding along. She you see her glance down the side at the doodles. <laughs> She's like, oh god, I gotta remember how to do Ash's accent. Fuck. Um. Vaguely, think vaguely. Really. Uh, what is this symbol? This um, it looks like an S. I, I feel like I've seen it before. I don't really remember. Is I this think a, it's just a an room? S. No, I think it's just an S. All right, well, I'll take your word for it. I don't really know what it is, so it is um. Anyway, your uh, doodles are fascinating. Thanks. <laughs> she just so she continues reading, nodding. She's trying to squint at what was scribbled out, and then gives up. Uh, <laughs> but I watch your back. I will watch your back. Uh, there is no ambiguity there. I promise you that. But uh, she goes the other one. So, uh, remind me, what which specific incident caused this? Uh, she holds up the two hams. Dude, I don't remember. Uh, I think that was when she was like, remind me. Uh, I think it's when she was like, um, don't, you're not my friend. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I think that that was what it was, but I'm just making sure that that isn't. Hey, D Dave's active. Whoa. Gasp. 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 Oh, oh! I just got a DM from him. <laughs> he forgot. He forgot. He forgot. He forgot. Um. I believe well. that it uh, was pretty. Particularly rough night. If <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you know, it's just the, the servants having their their week like their weekly choir practice. Uh, Ash kind of like quickly reads this. Um, for what it's worth, Thomas, you... I don't mean to uh, upset you as much as I do. I um, am used to the causing the distress in individuals that I have prolonged conversations with. So, if my reactions to your reactions to me are not kind, I'm simply just... I'm simply just not used to, well, social interaction much. And I, I don't know if this helps, but 
I don't think I can call you my friend. I don't think I can call anyone here my friend, really. But you can call me your friend if you want. I certainly won't stop you. If that will make you feel better, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you keep reminding me of this clip with it. My yes, reaction. Right. <laughs> my reaction to your reaction to my reaction. Why is there a boat? I'm sorry. I right. didn't have a reaction, but I'm so emotionally overwhelmed. The <laughs> reaction is to just laugh. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> Ash is like, we're not friends, but we can be. You can have a parasocial relationship with me. And if you use the third tier subscription, you get. <laughs> All you have to do is get disemboweled, and then I'll be able to relate you to relate to you better. It's fine. Yeah, you just gotta die first, which I already mm -hmm. did. First. Of That's all. the only reason she's talking to you, okay? <laughs> Oh. I really chronologically Snow White died first. Chronologically, yeah, that's true. And chronologically. Um. Like, nobody died, they just got error 404. <laughs> <laughs> I, um. We will call you my friend. Only if you want to. I'm not going... I mean... If I'm reading it correctly, you've been trying to be my friend. And I'm not going to stop you from trying. As you know, I'm trying to fix that whole thing. I think it would be nice to have friends, but... Uh, well, you know, I've explained it to you and all that. Do you want these back, or... Can I keep them? Will you make more? Uh, if, yeah, if you want. Yeah. How, how, how about this? And she'll kind of pocket these or fold them and hold them. And then go to her book and... Oh, wait, actually, I believe she gave you a whole journal at this point. She did. Right. Yeah. You, you can use the um the journal. Like, if you, if you come up with any more notes on me, I'd be happy to have them shared. Seems like a good deal. I expect you to put that book to use. I, uh, I don't like blank books. So, even if it's not about me, please feel free to put something in there. Even if, if it is more, um, those S things. I'd be fine with that. <laughs> Thomas just nods. He gets like a little Unless there is anything okay. else, I will be going to sleep now. I am going to try to approach uh, our collective... I don't want to say benefactor. I'm going to try to collect, contact Death and ask him what the fuck I'm supposed to do with this spoon. <laughs> Pardon my language. Okay, um, that seems like a solid plan, I guess. Um, duh, not sure I would want to see death in my dreams, but, you know, I never can tell with you. <laughs> Have a good night, Thomas. Yeah, I <laughs> hope you see death and don't meet him. Just raise an eyebrow at that and slowly close the door. <laughs> Valid. So, Zach, what are you trying to ask a death? <laughs> All right. She's, I guess she's gonna be like holding the spoon thing as she lays down and gets like begins to sleep and just either 
out, probably out loud, even just say like, you want, you want this, you want this soul that's running from you. This spoon is the method by which I am to do it. How does this thing work? <laughs> because uh, this dude can probably kill me by blinking at me. So I have to know what I'm working with if I'm going to work with it. Except she says that in her accent and all that. No, she um, says that just like something. No, yeah, she just becomes me for a second. You see the information I have given you in DMs where, about how the spoon works. <laughs> uh, should I reveal what the spoon does, or should we keep it a secret? The spoon. No, personally, if I got a vote, I'd say maybe just like tell us. Do it. Do it. Oh. So, this is uh, a. Basically, what I have given Ash is the. A tactical nuke in her pocket. It's the. Vampire. Killer thing. Yeah. Yeah. How about that, baby shit? Give them an actual tactical nuke like I did. I don't know how it does it, but it has potential to just instantly kill someone. Not my favorite. Right. I've read through it, and I think I, I think I know the only the only thing I can do. But unfortunately, that involves deception, and you've you've given it to the character who has an eight in charisma. Me, <laughs> your character, and party members. I just I just need to replace Ash with Dust, who has a 16 in charisma, and is very kind and persuasive. Then it'll be doable. Not not no no with Ash. No. All right. Well, all right. I think the way you described it to me, what you want to do, wouldn't be stealth. It would be an intelligent sleight of hand. That makes sense. Would you mean the uh, under the table <laughs> trick? Yeah. Intelligence sleight of hand. I mean, because you said you were going to use mage hand to try and get it to him. Yeah. Okay, so it is. Does it? Does it? English, please work. Is yeah. there anything y'all want to do before we move into the morning? Morning quotation marks. Is the day no. coming? Did you get any confirmation from him? What did you just... I, I don't know what you said. Uh, is Dave is, if Dave coming? Dave said that he, 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 he didn't wake up to his alarm. So I'm assuming he's coming. He just has to get stuff ready. Cool. Because it seems like he just woke up. Um, well, Ash... Can well, because clearly Thomas has some some words to have. <laughs> Snorri, Ash, with information on the spoon, can go talk to the resident sneaky boy of the group. Sneaky boy. Sneaky boy of the group. Sneaky boy. Great Snorri. Uh, <laughs> so at at <laughs> at some point, uh. During the morning, Ash will approach Scythe. All right, hey, um, so do you, do you remember that spoon I randomly found in my uh, on my person when I woke up the other day? Yes, uh, have you, uh, yes, uh, I don't know if you told us to, uh, where, where it came from or what well, it does. No, nobody really asked, which I thought was weird, but uh, well, I went and asked. Um, well, for starters, uh, my dead sister, which uh, is the mask of death has been masquerading around, apparently now with, uh, approached me in my dream and gave it to me and said, just basically, use it. I didn't quite know what that meant at first, but uh, after a bit of magical research and <laughs> clarification, clarificating questions asked last night, um, she <laughs> like looks around and kind of leans in and whispers, 
I'm supposed to use this to kill uh, Talhendis, but I can apparently instantly uh, rip his soul out of his body. With, with, with a spoon? With a, with, yes, with a, I would recommend you not touch it, she's saying, as she's like holding it, like, just kind of like waving it around. <laughs> I recommend you not touch it because it can apparently do it to anyone that touches it. Uh, I'm apparently allowed to hold it, so. So, uh, is there any further? No, Anyone that's about it. Touch the spoon at all? I think so. Blood or no, just, just immediate death? I believe it is anyone who touches it without permission from death uh, has a higher likelihood of being instantly um, soul scooped. Okay. Soul <laughs> scooped. Uh, did death specify? Uh, if anyone else had permission to hold it, or just well, that didn't really specify that I had permission. I assume just handing it to me was <laughs> granting permission. So I don't know if you all can. Um... Oh. However, I have a a plan to make it work. Uh, simply, I, I know Mage Hunt. Hold this one. Poke him with it under the table or during breakfast at some point. <laughs> hey, I might not. If, if nothing happens, then I'll just be like, oh, that was, that, that, that was weird. And, uh, uh, our spoon set out, by the way. Um, yeah, Supreme that Commander is true. DM. <laughs> our, spoon, our spoons just set out in advance. Uh, n normally, when you get the spoons are out, and Zach, to clarify something, the spoon mm -hmm. only does its little tries to kill you thing if you pick it up okay so you, you have, like, okay you have to pick it up <laughs> if you are, okay if you just get stabbed by it it's just very sharp <laughs> just a very sh wow okay it's just a it's really sharp one. okay but uh so then i shall clarify but uh, i was informed that that plan would uh, not really cut it so and he has to pick it up uh, probably of his own volition i don't think it can just be forced into his hand but, uh... Your catch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Catch. They try out the sixth spoon, I found. <laughs> right. So, you see the conundrum, I mean. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Spoon be upon me. <laughs> <laughs> spoon react this man. <laughs> so, you see the trouble, I mean. Um, however, whether or not it is the right time to... Uh, even attempt such a thing. I don't know if there's more we need to get from him in regard to our mission involving the uh, vampire blood back in town. <laughs> it, I mean, we could always come back, but it is a bit of a journey, and I don't know. We might well get lost. But... <laughs> <laughs> right, with Skygon, we don't really have a way to decipher maps anymore. <laughs> At least not very well. That is an excellent point. We should take further time to study him, and while we're there, one of us can, while we're waiting in this mansion, one of us can learn, attempt to learn, how to use a map. Oh, yes, um, perhaps we can, um, you know what, I think I might do that. You know, I think I might take the time to better understand navigation with maps. And while I do that, you can take the time to decode that uh, manuscript? I don't know what it was you were decoding, but I know you were working on it. So, and while that so is going on, uh, Thomas can <laughs> interrogate Snorri about what the fuck is going on with him at night. Uh, pardon my language. <laughs> ah, so it's settled then? Yes, and uh, once all that is said and done, we can uh, scoop his soul out and be on our merry way. And hopefully that will solve at least half the the blood problem. Because I, I feel like he is involved, even if you won't admit it. Yes. One does not uh, decorate one's office like that if one is not involved in blood-related charity. <laughs> Very true. I just wants to run a nice, fancy man who takes in guests and no one want to kill him. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna scoop his soul out with this pokey spoon. Even if it's entirely his sister's the problem, should have gotten a better sister. <laughs> Man, 
shouldn't have been family with that one. <laughs> that sounds like a bit diff to me. That sounds Still like someone issue. talking. That sounds like someone talking to dust. <laughs> yes, I love you too. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. you're probably gonna be able to hear this one. I'm sorry. The pipe organ hasn't started yet, but it's about to. <laughs> I think I think that I think that fits the, the theme right now. The pipe organ. Um, the name of this song is "Funeral for My Future Children." Jesus Christ! <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, no, it's, it fits the theme perfectly. It fits the theme perfectly fine. It's great. It's actually pretty enjoyable. <laughs> All right. So, Ash, Ash is going to pocket the spoon the for now. Existential trend <laughs> Ash is going to pocket the spoon. Oh, very good. I believe we have a more or less of a plan set in mind uh, motion. I'm going to begin learning how to navigate the map. And we will be seeing what other information we can get out of town. Of course. If you need my help with more um, covert operations again, just uh, come get me and be happy to help. Hmm. Speaking of covert operations, Safe, would you like to do any covert operations today? <laughs> what so would I like to do? Hmm. I have no idea. <clears throat> well, uh, let me think. Uh... I honestly have no idea what I could do. I have I have head empty, no thoughts. So we're we're trying to uncover information about further information about his sister, but he's lied about his sister, and if we if we confront him about lying, we'll reveal the fact we've broken into his little office, <laughs> which will get us shanked. Uh, if we continue to pry, we'll probably also get shanked. Uh, there's, a, there's still the servant. Pa there's still the servant passages that y'all haven't figured out. Point. I forgot about those. So they have a little thing, don't they? They have a little uh, scanner type thing. Not scanner. Little pass, like a pass that makes the things open. Okay. And you guys do know where like some of the doors are at because you've seen servants come in and out of them. I know. How quickly do the doors close after a servant uh, leaves them? The desk is vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's not Snape. Oh my god, Snape. I can't speak. Snape. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Snape, can you give me a perception check, please? <laughs> Oh yes, I need to get dice out. Or, or I'll buy a rodeo. It lets me roll dice, doesn't it? Yes, I figured out how to do that. How do I roll? Roll. There's a dice tab. Yeah, but I am clicking it. Roll. Uh, you click on you click on dice oh, and you figure it out. No, no. That is a fourteen. Um, hmm. Well, 14 is pretty good for level 3. Yeah. yeah so, perception. So, what you've seen is that whenever a servant wants to enter one, they basically pull out like a little crystal that causes it to like break away from the wall, but they, so they can open it, and then once they enter and close it again, it like magically reseals. To become like a part of the wall again. But how quickly does it close behind them once they go through? It depends on. They have to close it themselves. Okay. Okay. So they will be definitely. There's no, no tailgating. Unless you are very fast. <laughs> so. I am going to. So they. I'm going to wait for a serpent. Okay. 
that, that that's easy enough. There's turns. There's tons of them. So. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to attempt. Did play it again. Do I know where they kept their little crystal? He's playing it. Most of it seems like it's in one of their pockets. Okay. Can I attempt to steal it? Give me a sleight of hand check. Come on, don't fail me, guy. Okay, that's a 25. You uh, nick it, and it doesn't even seem like they notice. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to what, the door in the kitchen. That's where one was? Yeah? There's one, there's one in the kitchen, there's one in some of the hallways, there's some in the library, you can... Yeah, I'm gonna wait until, like, I'm alone. I'm gonna listen at the door to make it here to basically to check no footsteps incoming, so that I don't now open the door into the face of one guy. You know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna listen until I don't hear footsteps coming from near the door or on my own, and then I'm gonna open up the passages. So as you enter these like little passages, they are very narrow. Like, there's maybe enough space for, like, two people to stand next to each other, but it would be cramped. Okay. And there seems to be, like, one main one, like, one, like, main passage that, like, wraps around the house, and then a bunch of branching off little ones to, like, go to different rooms. So there's a big circuit, and there's, like, a main circuit. Oh, yeah. Ones that move off. Okay. And how long do you want to stay in these passages? Um, well, I just want to get a vague, like, look around. If you know what I mean? Yeah. So, just quick, quick, like, basic map, essentially. One final check. To determine the success of this mission, I'll need a stealth check. Okay. Do I have anything yeah. to use by this one? I just... Oh, that's another... Okay. Okay, that's another 25. Yep, you just consistently avoid everyone. Whenever hey. a servant... Whenever you like see a servant like, way ahead of you, and you're able to dip around a corner before they even like see okay. you... Don't yell at me. That's what I've, so, that's what they... I've done. My, I've played this Hitman level 20 uh -huh. times. I know the <laughs> control pattern, so I can pinpoint precision to walk undisguised through all of them. Yeah. You do that thing in Hitman speedruns where you, like, shoot, and then they just don't realize you're the one who shot as you walk past them. Yeah. <laughs> that with the throwing knives. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's what all the salt was for, it's for throwable distractibles. <laughs> that salt. is actually a thing in Hitman Speed Ones, if you shoot somebody and then just walk forward a little bit, and you can walk past them without them noticing. Bless you. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, as you're like looking around, most of the seven passages seem pretty normal. There's some, there's like a part that leads upstairs. But around that same, like, area where the stairs are at, there's another spot that leads into, like, leads downstairs. That's a basement. Is, is there a basement? That's what I asked. Not the knowledge. Interesting. That's where they do all the ritual sacrificing. Okay. Baby! I'm going to go back to the party and I'm going to... Get everyone in. So, how was everyone's day? I would have been spending it learning how to navigate a map. <laughs> well, it might be what is that, eight? I, I did a little uh, exploring and I will discreetly show the little security pass. Hmm. The key card. There. Based on, there appears to be a, the network runs through our most of the house. But interestingly, 
There appears to be a route down into some sort of basement, which is not accessible through other through, without using the servant passage. Um, do the servants have like rooms in the manor that we have seen? No. Do ghouls need sleep? I mean, they're undead, so I wouldn't think so. You, yeah, they don't need to sleep. They don't need to sleep. They don't need to eat. They just exist. Mm, fun. They're just vibing. Ah, uh, the perfect, the that perfect existence, awful. existing. And I believe that they've at least said that they don't eat. So, yeah. like they've said that even though they could, they don't. So, when my first Are you movie technically- is. Technically, they do eat by drinking vampire blood every so often, but that's it. <laughs> My first guess is that maybe where they go to, that maybe like the break room or something, but they don't need rest or food or water or really anything aside from the occasional bit of blood or vampire blood, so it may be worth checking out sometime. Based on the character of uh, uh, our, our gracious host. I yeah. would not be surprised that uh, some uh, blood-related activities were occurring down there. Wild guess. Perhaps that is where the uh, distributable uh, blood is being processed. Ah, it's still crack. Drink. It's the crack den. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. I'm the meth lab. God damn it! It came out. <laughs> Of course you did. I'm Jesse, we need to bleed. (laughs) I'm putting Jesse, we need to bleed in quotes. (laughs) Jesse. We have to bleed. We need to bleed. (laughs) Thomas, have you ever learned how to cook up meth? (laughs) If anyone would, it would be Thomas. Well, wait, no, actually, it's not a video you, you, you said you were using. I'm not really good at it. Like, I might get someone killed. It is an important part of every artificial uh, repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> making making meth? Yeah. Or just drugs in general? Uh, drugs, but especially meth. Especially. <laughs> I mean, you gotta have some way to stay up for the long nights of study. Um, that, yeah. just gives a is nod, that like, yeah, sleep? that makes sense. Is that what gave you sleep um, issues? Did you have a, oh, no, no, you no, have no, a no. problem back in the day? This is, that's an entirely separate uh, thing. I was not expecting this to go to Snorri does that. <laughs> no, Snorri, Snorri doesn't try his own supply. We all know that. That's the age-old yeah. rule of... of, of of, well, uh, that, drug that's manufacturers. Only, that's only if you're distributing. If it's just homemade, uh, taste for flavor, you yeah. <laughs> know. <laughs> what flavor was yours? Depression, insomnia. Uh, Germany. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yes. So yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I am back. Welcome back. <laughs> you, uh, missed what did I miss? Um, Snorri, Snorri makes mess. crack, and the flavor is Germany. That's all that you missed, and I'm not even, like, exaggerating. A is <laughs> broken. I am the one who bleeds. <laughs> Say, I am I am the one who, who has weird allusions to not my world stuff. Well, okay. yeah. So, say my name, Snorri. Tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this place a closer visit. Will all of this be going, or do you think just mm, no? We should all go. I think even. Uh, Thomas, do you think mm-hmm. you could remove your, uh, visually loud suit when we go, um, exploring down there? At least, 
until we get somewhere where you can put it back on. Perhaps we just uh, dunk him in a uh, in a in a kind of pant. That might work. No. Do not touch my suit. I can take it off, but you do not get to touch it. Let alone put it anywhere near paint. The wildest right. thing about your suit is it takes ten minutes to take it off and put it back on without help. He's Five very help. he's he's very, very um specific about how he does it. Right. Well, he, has, he, to, he has to make sure it's smooth the whole time. And then you have to immediately iron it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't let a how single is, wrinkle show up. Thomas has standards, but only for his suit. All right. Oh, um, to catch the two of you up on things, um, the spoon I found, it is, was granted to me by death, and we're going to use it to suck the soul out of uh, Talhindus when we are finished with uh, everything here. Um, oh, marvelous, marvelous. Yes, uh, we're going to try to get more information out of him. Oh, and also we're going to spend the next uh, week or so. Uh, <laughs> spend the next week or so uh, studying various things. I believe uh, you and Saif are working on that uh, manuscript translator from uh, Primordial to... Uh, yeah, apparently yeah. that. Um, Man. It's sort of disintegrated. But uh, I'm going to be working on studying... Love studying. Uh, I'm going to be working on studying um, how to decipher maps. So once we are all done with that, using his graciously provided library, we're going to kill him <laughs> and leave. <laughs> Ash is not laughing, I'm laughing. Um, only, only if overcomplicated. So I find it, find it. 99 Centro, I said this before, the getting efficiency on downtime doesn't work as normal. It does take longer than a week. All right, how long? Yeah, it, it, I think it takes a while, but you don't have to like spend all of your time doing it. Uh, how, yeah. how long Couldn't does it take? Couldn't we just take the materials the with us? I mean, you can take like, them back with you. You just yeah, don't like just take all of the learning stuff. Right, but how how long does it take to gain proficiency in seventeen years? That is a question I should have the answer to. I... And there's probably rules for it as written. Let me see if that's anything reasonable. The more I look at these oh, dice, the more I'm starting to like them. I'm going to be... I don't disapprove. Tal Hindus is not exactly a fellow who would be undeserving of the fate that he is about to receive. And besides, it's only fitting that he dies to such an arrogant method of assassination. I mean, he's a vampire and drinks people's blood, so... I wouldn't get too sad about it. Two hundred fifty gold. No, two hundred fifty I mean, days, one gold per day. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Wait, is that how uh, long? <laughs> and I need okay, to, to spend like a year learning. I would, which is realistic, but just before we get enough. sad about killing a vampire, I would just like to remind everyone that like, even my family wouldn't work with them. So... But I, I don't really feel bad about it. Uh, I never felt bad about it to begin with, so you don't need yeah, to convince well, me. Ash, you don't feel bad about a lot of things. No, that's true. <laughs> I killed a I'm Thomas immediately looks like he feels guy. bad about saying that. Ash is non Um uh, So. So what this is okay. Uh, Dave, just so you know, this has all been happening on the fourth day. Yep. Mhm. Mm is there anything else you would like to do today? Me specifically, or just everyone? This is a question for everyone. Uh, okay. Is there any is there anything I can do to at least counteract the disadvantage? 
Like I don't need proficiency. I I have guidance, guidance, uh, bless. Guidance. Yeah, I have, I have I have guidance for pseudo proficiency. So is there any way I can counteract this? And I have intelligence, which is what it's based off of. Forty. Navigation checks during travel. Yeah, is there anything I can do to just counteract the disadvantage at this point? I'm going to say no. No? no. Wait, di didn't we determine that Snorri has proficiency with all like, tools? With all what? Doesn't Snorri um, have proficiency with all tools? I think I that's think... a higher level artificer feature. Oh, I could check. Um, yeah, I think tool for the job is like a level 6 um, feature. Uh, right tool for the job, it's a different feature, but uh, right tool for the job, it doesn't give you proficiency. You can just create tools when you need them. Okay. Thieves tools or any kind of art tools. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because the only way I could reasonably see you being able to keep track of where you are at on a map without knowing how to do it is if the map was magical. Okay. I mean, if there are enough landmarks, it's possible. It was just a good map. Well, okay, even I didn't mean it like that. I've <laughs> navigated using a map before with very little. It did not take me a year to gain sufficient efficiency in reading <laughs> the map to be able to. I read the map. I looked at the map. I spent like it took me. They 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 get out to do this in school. Like they 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 let they like did a training thing, and that training thing was like twelve hours. And then I was able to read the map and use the map. And then did I presume they gave you a compass though? And I don't think we had. Is that a? I forget. Is, do compasses exist in the end? I mean, you just need to be able either to way. Find, ignore. That'll be fine. Um, Worst case, we get lost in the frozen tundra. We can just head towards the town that Sky went to and have Sky be like, "We need yeah. <laughs> compasses <laughs> exist." Wait, the... come back. Yeah, the compass compasses existed in the Middle Ages. Uh, they were first recorded in Europe in around 1190, according to Wikipedia. Hmm. And they were used as as early as 200 BC by the Chinese. They were built different, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, built different. Just like their compass. The issue isn't like being able to tell like distance, like or like, you no, know, just walk in this straight line here and you'll make it. It's being able to tell that you are staying on the right path. Yeah, it's it, it's more than just looking at the map and knowing. It's it's a couple of things. So I, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. We'll survive. Okay. We'll just steal all the food from here when we leave. Overcome that probably, isn't probably, but you know, worst case, uh, I think we all agree we should eat Thomas first. What? <laughs> I'm the smallest. Well, yeah, exactly. It takes up the most food for the least. Uh, it, 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 I don't know. No, uh, you would want to eat them. And I will try. Make sense. I will like after the session's done, like, look through everything and try to come up with something more reasonable than 250 days. I mean, that's 25 weeks since a week is... No, it's 50 weeks. Nine dollars. Since a week in this setting is uh, five days. <laughs> it's 50, it's 50 yeah. long rests. <laughs> yeah, that would be, like, the that would be the whole fucking campaign. <laughs> yeah, that would be the whole campaign. In the very end the whole we campaign we, we know five. how to use maps now at, at level we 20 go with the ability to teleport between any location in any realm and no, no, she's no, like no. i can finally maps. read a map i can finally read a map yeah nevertheless the fact that i don't need them anymore because i can just instantly be where no 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 no, no, no. it plane. took it, it took like 250 gold i think was the number and a year of a year of practice finally I, I know I where um, walk from here to there. I know, I know where Rosewood is. 
It's West. <laughs> Accurate representation of me trying to remember all of the states and their capitals. Okay. Anyway, Ash is still going to study maps just because it's. it seems... I think it makes sense for her to at least look into it a little bit, even if nothing will come of it immediately. So that's what she's doing. Unless we're going on a little sneaky adventure, anyway. Yeah. When do you want to do the sneaky adventure? Right now. Let's go. Uh, after we've had a collective long rest. How about that? So five days. So literally one more day. Um, one day more. Yeah. Okay. But we're uh, moving into the day five. Okay. Day five. Didn't Thomas want keep... to interrogate some... I, I mean, kind of. Um, I don't. Yep. Hmm. 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 <laughs> it's Dave is muted. <laughs> um, but. Kind of, but also I don't know how his reaction to what happened in downtime, if he would interrogate him quite so soon. No. Oh. Like, he wants to, but instead I think that he is gonna research the cycle some more That with that day that he um. has. I guess Ash would want to talk to tell him this at least once before possibly getting on his bad side and or killing him. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Uh, so is there, yeah. is there a point where she could just talk to him? And, like, uh, yeah. You, Ash can pull, like, find him on at some point in the day and tell him to him. Find him brooding. This, this um, man doesn't brood. He is... He is too prideful to brood. Okay. Um, excuse me, Zara. Hmm? Yes. I um. I just have a few questions before uh, we eventually depart from your uh, grateful uh, host. What do you do out here, if I may know? I don't want to pry too much. I am just curious. Well, it is complicated. You don't need to go into it if you'd rather I not know. Well, before the sign of fell, this was my this has been my ancestral home for a very long time. Uh, and how how old are you? How long have you been around? I stopped counting the years a very long time ago. Hmm. What but, do you do with all that time? It, uh, I... I master my crafts. I will spend centuries focusing on a single specific thing to ensure that I am the best at it. Hmm. That sounds like exactly what I am thriving for someday. Yes, I would have also liked to just be chatting with Mr. Talhinder. Get in line. <laughs> in line. Just be present. But how do you know? How do you know you are Mr. Uh, if you reach the If you reach the pinnacle of skill in such in any field, surely it will be surpassed once you stop practicing it and move on to a different field. For someone to surpass me in certain fields, they would have to live thousands of years. Not many people get the end. Ah, no, that's not the nuts. You're not oh, the oldest you... thing on here, on the planet, are you? There are... There are a very few handful who have the lifespan of myself. I believe I can count them on one hand, actually. And in some, in some aspects, yes, they are better than me. They have lived, we have all lived very long in complex lives. They have focused on other tasks that I have yet to get to or just found too boring. 
So what is your current news? Well, you are experiencing it. I am fascinated with how people have been surviving these difficult and interesting times. And as such, I have opened my home to guests and travelers to experience this, to talk with them, to try and understand how they survive nowadays. Oh, yeah, by the did Snorri mention that he dunked on him with snow? <laughs> Please tell us Snorri mentioned he did annihilate oh, him, yes. Oh, uh, Snorri, yeah, he probably would have mentioned it. <laughs> He's probably pretty proud of that, actually. Yeah. Is Chess one of your current muses? Oh, no. I don't. <laughs> you're, you're really trying to... <laughs> Yeah, Ash is not, not going to participate in this particular conversation because she will not be able to navigate it. She immediately Say, opened was book Chess and ever one of your muses? If I it wasn't, the... it is now. <laughs> Snowy kicks his ass so hard he fucks mastering Chess. For like 300 oh, years, oh, oh, oh. he just spends... It's like an anime protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Snorri's just the villain of this chess anime. Mm. <laughs> Games such as chess never really interested me. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> sure it hasn't. Sure it has. <laughs> He's trying to save his pride, okay? Inside, inside, inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna roll it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only a 10. <laughs> Oh, that's a natural one. Oh. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah. Mm, sure. Okay. Sure thing. Uh. <laughs> well, now he has to die. <laughs> it's too smug. Uh, Snowy. Snowy wasn't on his two kill list, but after kicking his ass, so so badly he has jumped to the top <laughs> yeah you know anyway <laughs> yeah, I, think he'd, I think he'd be i think he'd allow it uh ash is going to follow that up with um if you're curious about us adventuring times my current muse is um about life and death and the line between them a line that you more or less walk, if I understand your uh, existence correctly. Um, that's a very fascinating question. Uh, my experience with cycle has been a complicated one. I, Had to... I... I am technically have been reborn because when I died, the God I worshipped brought me back as I am now. Which do is... You... Uh, do you still what? worship that God? And who is that God? Um, he says a name in Primordial. Could you write that down so we can check it? <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Would Kay? So uh, I, would Saif have come over that? Um, did we reach? That, did we reach that point before the books got pile drive through the floor? Okay, here's the thing, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh right, I you have you been learning the written language, not the spoken part of it. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, why yeah. I asked if he could write it down. Mm -hmm. That's true. Wait, who's all here? I'm not here. Yeah, I was in that. Sort of story, story, while story is the not camera here is fiesta. While, while, yeah, while the camera is fiesta at Talhindus, more people enter the scene. <laughs> <laughs> it just it cuts no, back. I was asking out there. of character. character. I mean, I shouldn't have thought that. I mean, mm, no, she's not exactly interested in that line. So, But uh, I still do worship him. It's just... Belief is a very powerful thing, and the belief in him has faltered to such a significant portion that the power he wants to hold doesn't exist. 
Others so just have to take it. So you put your faith in a uh, in a god to help you escape the grasp of death. I no longer need this help to do such a task. And you are not concerned that death may react poorly to your direct defiance of their wishes? Oh, I believe it. I do believe death does not like my existence. Uh, many Death does not like many of the undead, but myself particularly... Due to the way I was created, I crossed the line and then came back. Well, many of the undead, just their bodies, they raised the bodies, not the mind. So, and you are just saying that death might come for you? It's just like slowly turned <laughs> I have taken measures to avoid such a situation. Ah, uh, understandable. A man of caution. I can definitely, definitely <laughs> advise with that. Yeah. There are certain incantations and spells that are no longer. No one taught. I. They are. It's very powerful magic that many do not know. I think it's the best way to put it. That can ward off the presence of being such as death. Ah. Would that be similar to a spell like uh, uh, protection from evil and good, except significantly more powerful? Uh, yes, that is a way to think of it. It. Um, God, there is protection from the cycle. Protection, <laughs> protection from the cycle. It's called Death Lord. <laughs> um, and I do believe my situation with Death is a unique one, as to my knowledge, no one else has crossed the line and came back mostly as themselves. <laughs> This is side eye me. Indeed. That's, that does sound like something that has only really happened to a very few people, if at all. <laughs> I wouldn't be in the slightest bit surprised if you were the only person in this room, in this mansion, save this entire world with such a unique condition. Mm -hmm. Most, yes, most of those who have chased along the ways have found other means. Uh, magic to turn their body into a more undead-like state is often used. It's very complicated magic. It can be very dangerous, and if not used properly, it can result in you just becoming a mindless zombie. Death of the soul. A fitting not end. A fitting end for such an ambitious and arrogant spellcast. I see. I do believe I haven't informed you, or I haven't shared my, what my pie feeling is. Uh, I am I'm interested in poetry, actually. Uh, more specifically, uh, not more, more generally, the, the, the concept of, uh, you are aware of uh, poetic justice? <laughs> I, I wander the world, and I study people. And I, I look at their deeds, their thoughts, their actions, and I determine to myself, not only, uh, what does this person deserve in life, or on life, but how do they deserve it? It is no good, in my eyes, to execute a murderer. That's simply killing them. They must live. If someone, say, killed someone, I would, I would look at the circumstances of the death, and if, if it was determined that they had to be killed, 
I would rather it be killed in a manner, and an ironic manner, so that their death reminds them of their deed. <laughs> While I can understand your point of view, I must remind you that I have lived a very long life, and to me, justice depends entirely on many different aspects, and I have seen many forms of it, so much less, uh, how do you say, uh, appropriate. And I've seen ways where it is what I am trying to get at is that to strive for justice, you are essentially describing yourself to certain ideals, and if someone doesn't believe in those ideals, they will not believe in your form of justice. What is my ideal objectively correct? I'm, I'm kidding, of course. Uh, morality is a short subject. To claim that your beliefs are objectively correct is a very bold one to make. Did, did, did you not hear the entire second half of the sentence? <laughs> or, or, I, or I clearly stated that, that I was joking and don't actually believe that. Me as the DM did not hear that. I just said, <laughs> Retcon. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't think you have to be joking. Not saying that you have to be objective about it, but so many of old men who strive for justice believe all their ideals are the correct ones, and that any who do not believe in them are either uninformed or willingly evil. Well, if you don't think you're right, then why you have those opinions at all? I can argue my case. Well, I don't believe my my morals and um, principles are objectively correct. I believe they are subjectively correct, um, that I can argue my case as to why they are correct. Which is enough for me. Well, if that is the case, then who am I to say that you are wrong? Do you think you're doing the subjectively correct things, sir? Very broad statement, I know. That is... It's just a yes or no question. The vast majority of things I, I stand by. All right. That's all that I have. Thank you for uh, entertaining my uh, curiosities. It was an interesting conversation. I have gathered a lot about you. You are a very interesting person. Green was uh, learned, intelligent, and extremely confident in yourself. Um, I'm honest, you're probably bored of existing. We do appreciate your hospitality, but I think... You know, if that is your judge of character, I think I will have to bring into question your judge of justice. You me, you me. I, I start to talk to you. Do you think that? Does Zach sound like he's in a paper bag now? Zach? It sounds like he's talking to Mark, Mark, a sock. Yeah. You've Does died. Sound, like, do I sound better? Yes. yes. Okay. We do appreciate your hospitality, but uh, I, it's definitely cozy. I, I do think you should probably get into a more active hobby uh, than just being a host uh, for your own sanity. Passive minds, deteriorate. And you may not die, but I do feel like you would still deteriorate. With all respect, but I'm not trying to uh, overstep any bounds. Uh, 
I will take your uh, suggestion into consideration. Don't, don't tell the vampire to be more active. <laughs> Just I, throwing that out. I mean, <laughs> a single suggestion. You may be an extremely powerful individual of immense age, but you are not invincible. I would, invi- I, would, I would advise you to uh, proceed in your life with a little more caution. <laughs> Inconfidence is often followed by a de- an unnecessary harmful outcome. Unnecessarily harmful outcome that could have been inv- avo- avoided. Hey, say, do me a favor, make an intimidation check. I'm not trying to intimidate him. I, I'm not trying to intimidate. I'm, no, I'm sorry. You just said you're not invincible. You need to realize you can die. Okay. What's your passive intimidation? Okay. okay you're not trying. So what's your passive? Why? Why are you telling the guy that we're about to kill to worry about dying? Uh, poetic just Possibly it's only thirteen. How mean do I want to be? So be it. Have a good day. I'm I'm doing uh, this because uh, a it's extremely funny to watch him <laughs> have the, watch him completely ignore all the massive red flags that he's about to be assassinated and then get assassinated. <laughs> it is the perfect ironic death for this guy. He's too confident to. Yeah. He's so confident he completely ignores all the massive red flags and dies like a bitch. Exactly. Here's the thing: is you just look the immortal vampire in the eyes and said, hey, you aren't invincible. You need to worry about dying. Yeah. yeah. And he's not going to listen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's not going to listen, which is why okay, he's going to die. Okay, yes, but also don't tell him that right before we're about to fight him. <laughs> but that's the fun part. That's it's... the fun part. It's a flawed part. Yeah, it's really fun, except for the fact yeah, that we have to just... deal with it. Hey, hey, not Tip sorry. Time. Hey, can you make a constitution saving throw for me? Okay. Oh. He's, just gonna, he's just gonna style on me just for. <laughs> just kills you. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a 10. Oh. No, you're my emotional support party member. What are you gonna do with like, the finger of. You're not invincible. Yes, I am. Finger of death. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ten, which means I uh, probably. Eight. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Dies instantly. I'm sorry. I saw I saw this ability, and I was like, "Why does it deal that type of damage?" Then I realized why it deals that type of damage. You take ten fire damage. Weird. <laughs> Is this, is, is, is this immolation? What is this? Um, as you say that, you feel your blood start to boil. Oh, that's fine. Oh. It would really respond with violence. It would really respond to such a... Ow. It would really respond to a good faith gesture with violence. Save me, I bet and you. Run around and leave. I'm just going to leave. Ash closes her book, bows, apologies, <laughs> turns to follow her, her oh, hand. Yes, to like... It didn't look like he cast the spell. He just looked at safe, a little angry, and his blood started angry. to boil. Angry. angry. I mean, we can assume. We can assume it was him. <laughs> I'm going to walk back into the room, and I'm going to cast healing hands on myself, oh, okay. and then I'm going to leave. That, that's much better. Than... I mean, uh... When does that? When does healing hands come back? Uh, on the long rest. So let me let me just do uh, cure wounds on you because I get it back on a on a on a short yes, rest. Yes, but long rest is going to be finished tomorrow. So I that's true. So I'm, I'm literally just doing this. Yes, I, I I can heal the damage. I heal six damage back. There. Okay. okay. The power of I can channel the power of an angel to heal myself a mm-hmm. little bit, and then. Not say anything and then leave. And then and then and then Ash will do the bow and apologies and follow. 
<laughs> that ain't getting well, in his head, would you? I'm taunting him. I don't know. Yes, good. It's good. <laughs> Suffer. Perish. Become cockier. It'll just be funnier. It'll be even fun. It, either way, we either get TPK'd and it's still funny, or he dies and it's funnier. So. <laughs> Yeah, the spoon. The spoon is really... You get scooped to death, my guy. Exactly. He's gonna be now... Or he does take the advice. You, now he's uh, looking, out, looking out for, like, knives. <laughs> you he's not are looking out for a spoon. by a... Uh, spoon. It's like a household the, uh, item. You it's just... Like you, the, scoop, you scoop out their flesh and sort of crawl into their uh, their body like a skin puppet, you see. It's it's a real... You're not helping Tori's case. <laughs> no, no, God. it's... Um, it's in like a like like the kill feed in a video game where it shows like the symbol of the weapon that killed them and it's just a spoon. He'll have to yep. live with that. Or die with that, I guess. Okay. The windows are rattling. The shovel kill kill icon. <laughs> That's what appears in the top right corner. No, it's literally a spoon. That's the thing, the shovel icon looks like a spoon. Hmm, fair. Okay. Just just Last little check. Is there anything else y'all like to do on day four? No. Cool. Moving into day five. Long West? Question mark? No, it's not night five, it's day five. At the end of day five, Long West. Okay. We'll just do nothing. <laughs> um, Ash is going to, Ash is going to spend. Up in the morning, you find a servant in the hallway. Dead. As soon as he, like, as soon as they uh, see you start coming out, they will say, they will start talking to you like, um, unfortunately, the master is receiving a very important guest, and he has requested that you, that you buy, that you all should... I can't I'm a word you're saying. Who might this guest be? some reason. Who might this guest be? I did not hear a word of that entire sentence. No. You're gonna have to restart that. Okay, so as you like start coming out of your rooms, a guest starts to uh, say this to you. Uh, the master is receiving a very important guest today, and he has requested that you you all should stay upstairs for the next for the vast majority of today. Okay. And who who might this guest be? I am not allowed to tell you. <laughs> all right, then. I have no problems. I think we're going to take today easy anyway. Okay, well, I, I will obey. But I will attempt. Uh... I'm going to cast guidance on Scythe in case he decides to try and sneak. <laughs> nope, I'm going to just listen out and see if I hear any talking. Perceive. Perceive. Yeah, guidance. Proceed. I'm gonna go to like the top of the stairs. I'm gonna hang around, read a book from the library, maybe, and listen. No, 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 no. The guests are preventing y'all from going downstairs. Yeah, yeah. So the library is downstairs. Okay. So we would just start. Oh, we don't. We don't have any books that we kept with us. You could read the primordial book. Yeah. No, know, that's destroyed. No. The primordial. You, you can't. The primordial shreds. Oh, that's right. It got obliterated. No, no, no. The primordial book didn't get shredded. It did. Only Snorri's books got shredded. Yeah, but oh. Snorri had the primordial book, didn't he? Yeah, they were one and the same. Oh. I thought... Unless we misunderstood. I could have sworn safe had it. But uh, what's my call? Uh, I think I think both Snorri and Safe were uh, working on it. We're we're working on it. We're trying to like uh, read it. Okay. I mean, if the book's fine, then, then that makes. I mean, I I'd, <laughs> I'd prefer if the book was fine because then we wouldn't be destroying manor property and getting a a side eye. 
What? Yep. Oh, sorry. It's the Baptist. <laughs> you know, there's there. <laughs> and I mean, legitimately, it is. The we're Baptist. just gonna be spending the day. I, I just chilling upstairs with whatever book we happen to have. Story's just spinning in the corner. <laughs> Too posing. The the scythe get to get to try to perceive the world. Listen loud for talking coming from downstairs. Just um, right I am So normally I would let you make the check on your chance you do roll extremely high. No matter how high you roll here, you will not be able to perceive this I mean, conversation. Could be like multiple rooms away downstairs. It's a big manor. Hmm. That's fair. What you can tell is this conversation is not happening across the hallway in his office. Mm-hmm. Um. So we we don't know exactly where the guest is. Then. No. If only I'd made enough money to cast Find Familiar, but I did not. One day. Good idea, actually. I'm gonna go uh, to. Hey, what's your what's your face? Ash, and I, Ash, Ash, do you have a manner of uh, detecting magic? Don't you? I do, yes. Well, uh, if you were to say do so, would you be able to see the magic through the walls? Um, to a degree. Well, uh, surely we could use that to get a rough estimate of the location of our honored guest. If they're wearing a I guess you could use Thomas for that. His dead radar. Well, so let me see. Let me bring up magic. It's only within 30 feet. And penetrate most barriers blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. So I can see through, basically, in most cases, I can see into an adjacent room and not even fully into the room. And the Divine Sense and Eyes of the Grave only, like, they specify it can't be behind full cover, which a wall <laughs> or a floor would be full cover. But I can still, I can ritually cast Tech Magic, so it doesn't, like, cost me anything. Doesn't hurt to do it. Might pick up something. Attempt to locate. Yeah, so <laughs> Glorious DM, Ash basically ritually cast Detect Magic and is just pacing around the floor, seeing if she can ping anything through the floor or a wall that is uh, different from what she got before. No. Okay. Throw the shot. This is not within the range of your Detect Magic. There you go. Throw the shot. Um, up throughout the whole. Okay. Thomas is gonna ask Safe, why don't we just use the servant stairs? Like the passages in the walls that you were talking about? Why don't we just use those? Uh, because uh, I don't really do not wish to upset Mr. Palindus right now. Mm. Because if, if I were to hazard a guess, I would guess that this honored guest would be his uh, his sister that definitely, definitely doesn't exist. <laughs> and thus, uh, were anything to go wrong, we would have to, they would both attack us simultaneously, almost certain to resulting in our deaths. Oh, no, no, that is impossible. How could that be? Right, but because it's not his sister, because she doesn't exist. Exactly. <laughs> Mm. So we spend the day chilling. Mm -hmm. Gonna spend the entire day chilling? Yep. Yeah. Sure. I'm kind of uh, tempted well, when, when to poke in... Snorri for answers again. I'm actually I'm I'm going to ask the uh what you call it the uh servant the servant when we're allowed downstairs again specifically like is there a specific time or. Uh, whenever the guest leaves, you will be informed. 
Okay. So this is the front door out. Yeah. Is there any? Are there any windows on the top floor which I could use yeah. to see out? Uh, over the like, as the front door. See out of the front, like so I get a view from over the front door. So if someone tries to leave through the front door, I'll I'll know. So I'll I'll do that. If if there are any, I will sit there and uh, the whole day. Okay. Huh. So, the current plan for today is to just vibe, is what yes. I'm getting. Vibe with yes. Siphon Lookout. Um... Ash is under that. Go just read a book, go over her notes. Dave, you want to get inside it? <laughs> what the fuck? Snorri hasn't done anything. Why? Yeah, Why? he's done so much weird shit that he will not <laughs> clarify. Not today. <laughs> it's right, but it's not like it hasn't. It's not like it's not, it's not like the previous days he's existing. Just inciting Snorri as a person, just like. <laughs> Look, it's like it's like it's like saying you're it's like saying someone like randomly randomly zoned out and walked like to another room, grabbed a hammer and then set it down and then resumed like nothing happened and then being confused why people keep asking about it every day when you're not giving them an answer. You're like, well, I didn't do it today. What are you what are you talking about? <laughs> You don't just occasionally do that, you know. <laughs> Love a bit of steam. <laughs> I don't know. That seems kind of more more insight worthy to me that you don't do that. Um. Regardless, <laughs> Thomas is going to go to snoring at some point. Oh fuck! Okay. <laughs> Look, I didn't do it the day before so that you could have a full time to wake up after your alarm didn't let you wake up. Okay. 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 I was patient and kind. Okay. Okay. How about. All right. Another round of. Dude tries not to spill character secrets while also not being entirely just a vague dick. Anyway, yeah. Also, Fire, I'll tell you right now, I am not going to let you inside after every single statement. I am not planning on inside. You don't every say. Statement. You don't say. that. I think that might be... Hmm. Listen. You have to admit, Snorri says some suspicious things. Yeah. And you get like? That's the first conversation. At least whenever Ash says some weird shit, she immediately clarifies. <laughs> So, how many patients? I don't have any. <laughs> Evidently. Okay, so, what does Thomas go on? Explain. Um. Thomas is going to start off with, um, uh, hey, uh, I can't say that I'm necessarily, uh, sorry for the other day, uh, but it was not handled well on my end. Uh, I still don't appreciate um you not saying anything maybe you could just elaborate a little bit more as to why you won't if you won't tell me what you won't say okay 
Okay, let me just <laughs> analyze. Okay, uh... Buffering. <laughs> Buffering. <laughs> Um, yes, there's nothing to be sorry for. I, I don't expect you to understand everything. You are. Yeah, this is a very complicated and in many ways a treacherous uh, thing to be involved with. Um, so, um, Let me just say that I, when I was young, I had a curiosity similar to yours, although it was uh, less out of necessity and more out of just uh, ego and curiosity, and that it um it did not do me any good, and I do not wish to see you uh, suffer any avoidable consequences of such. Oversight. I appreciate that, but I can't really avoid something that you won't tell me what it is. I literally cannot tell you. Why? <laughs> it's in the Why? fucking name. I cannot tell you. I literally cannot. Say it's in the name. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a thing that I cannot tell you. I am physically incapable of telling you. But... <clears throat> the thing is stopping you from telling me? Or... Like... What can you tell me? I can tell you that looking into this is not a good idea. And as much as I would wish for you to not um, end up in hell, as you would put it, um, I feel that you would face far worse if you were to, uh, if you were to go digging much deeper. As I'm sure you can guess from friends like our uh, uh, undead host here, there are many who would rather that you would not know certain things and they have their ways of making sure that you don't. So as you are having this conversation, uh, you will notice that the few servants upstairs seem to get really panic and rush downstairs. Okay, well, this is, this has been a wonderful conversation, but I'm sh I'm afraid we'll have to cut it short. Do I? Hear and sorry, the uh, rupture downstairs. Yeah, like every single so the, there are like very few servants upstairs. It seems most of like been like on like the down these like just to make sure you don't like, you don't leave have all just rushed out the door and like have started going downstairs outside the house or just downstairs to like see what the commotion was going downstairs okay i see you, was there a you commotion could... uh to your guys knowledge nothing has changed oh, okay that's what i was trying like, it, it didn't sound like there was, like, a fight going on or something like that. No. <laughs> it's okay. like a schoolyard fight. We all came to watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, these are, this is the house of a vampire. Vampires are dramatic. If I hear this, I would like to stealth. Don't, at least close enough to see, like, try and investigate what's going on. I will ping your back and give you guidance. <clears throat> as I see you starting to head down. Uh, you don't need to make a stealth check. Okay. As you yeah, like, head down the stairs a little bit, you can see smoke like rising from like parts of the house. Uh -oh. I'm going to get gather the party, and uh, uh, I do not wish to alarm you, but uh, there may be a fire. <laughs> well, 
Do you think this is perhaps the perfect time to go investigate? Everyone is in a, a panic. I doubt he's going to let this place burn down. It might be a good time to go poking around or recently. Uh, that's not a terrible idea. I'm just concerned we might get stuck in the walls of a building that is on fire, and that may not be the best of ideas. Well, how danger? How in danger of this house being reduced to ashes? Is it? Can we tell? Uh, you guys smoke? cannot see the fire currently. All you know is smoke is rising, and it's gone to the point where it's now coming up the stairs. Is the house mostly stone? Because I've been imagining it as mostly stone, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it's this plenty like a, on the inside. This is like a very old, old school mansion. Yeah, it's not like a okay. like a stone. So it's, it's not. It's okay, not so it's it's room. made. Okay, so it's made out of rubber gut. Okay, <laughs> so it's a bounce house. <laughs> it's yeah, bounce it's drywall. A bouncy house. It's a bouncy house. Yeah, it's a, it's a bounce house. <laughs> All right, well, I don't think that. Would particularly blame us if we go looking around with a fire happening. So, at the very least, let's get a handle on the situation. We can decide what to do from there. I'm going to head down the stairs. Seems like Attempt a good to plan. investigate more closely. Find the source of the smoke. Uh, none of the servants seem like bothered about the fact y'all heading downstairs now. And... I'm going to ask what I... Is there a fire? They don't answer, they just keep rushing. And as as you like look around, you'll notice that like the smoke and the heat seems to be emanating from where like the servant doors are at. Hello. Maybe we shouldn't go to the basement. <laughs> Say if he did something to you. Do you think this is his doing? Perhaps? Uh... Possibly, but uh, I, I, I suspect that this was not an intended consequence. If if he did do such a thing, this was Wait. not his intended consequence. I don't think so. Wait, he did something to you? Uh, did something? Uh, burned me. I think. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Cool. Okay. cool. Um, as you're like standing around, one of the servant doors was like closed. Finally, like, enough heat has happened for it, like, rip through, and, like, blue flames just shoot out from it. Well, I don't think we're going down there today. Unless anyone is uh, willing to walk into a little oven. Is it hot if you get close I'm to it? I'm going to open one of the... I'm going to open yes. step one of the... Yeah, okay. very warm. Hmm. I'm gonna. Maybe we should wait outside a few. Maybe we should wait outside a few hours. <laughs> right. Um, that is a good idea. Any complaints, anyone? All right. Good talk. That's, uh... It would be really funny if we pickpocketed all the servants so they did, they couldn't open the doors and they're all just. Look at that one guy that lost his keys. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so um. As you, like, rush out to, like, the front door, um, you, you notice something odd. There is a man walking down the path towards the gate, and from the back, all you can really see is that he seems to be wearing, like, a cowboy hat, and he's dragging, like, an unconscious body with him. Hmm. Extremely concerning. Uh, <laughs> do, uh, do we recognize the unconscious body? No. It's like a green guy. It's, it's weird. It's like it's a, a green, green guy who's been blindfolded and has like blood from the side of his head from like where he was hit. Okay, I'm oh. going to sprint forward. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go forward and attempt to close the distance uh, stealthily because I'm presuming I can make a bit more noise with you know building being on fire being a considerable distraction <laughs> um as you go within 30 feet of him you can just hear like this very old like rough voice just go 
I don't have time for you. And there's a brief moment where he turns around and you can see like the side of his face is like old flesh. There's like a hole in his neck and he whips around and he's going to cast a spell on all of you. I need all of you to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, I'm good at those. Oh. Mm, I'm great at those. I love charisma. I'm very, Snorri, he talks very well. Yeah. Damn. Okay. No. It doesn't, doesn't work on saving throws, does it? No. No. Okay. Uh, dirty twenty. Uh, dirty twenty. Twelve. All right. So if twelve All fails, right. I can reroll. I assume twelve fails. Twelve fails. Quick. Ah, cool. Eight. It's twelve. So I got twelve. Okay. Uh, you no. all fail. <laughs> We all oh, failed. Yeah. Cool. Right. Okay. Cool. cool. Neat. All right. Mm. Love that. Casual Great. Penalty of DC twenty one. We are uh, playing. Dirty twenty never stopped anyway. We're it all playing. Two. We're all sent to hell again. Okay. Please. Oh, oh. We want to see hell. Oh. The banishment spell. Oh, banishment. Okay. Where are we sent to? Who wants to go I'm first? sorry for that noise. <laughs> it came out of me before I could stop it. Well, we're all native to this plane, in theory. Yeah, so but like Denny. we have to, we have to go somewhere. So oh, yeah, we go to we go to a harmless Denny plane and we reappear a minute later. Oh, I you're right actually. Sorry, I forgot that about the spell. Who wants? Okay, I'm just asking. Who wants to go first? Oh, me, I guess. So. Oh. Ash. I'm gonna I, this all happens very quickly. You watch Safe try to like move towards the man, mm -hmm. and as he not even gets us in close range, seems to get spotted, and as you see that like very decrepit form turn around and cast a spell, mm -hmm. and you feel your presence on the plane just get whisked away, and everything is bright again. Bright. Oh. And as you, it takes a moment for like your eyes to adjust, and as you look around, you notice like a just a sprawling sea of water. Oh, oh it's here again. Uh oh. All... Wait. All done. Tobias, where are you? I have some questions. I am behind you. Oh, hello. Hey, um, I'm pretty right. sure someone just cast banishment on me. Is this my native plane now? Am I going to be stuck here in a minute? Uh, it is. Oh, so I'm yes, just you were. It was banishment. Um, so I'm just it's... here now. No. It's no. uh. It's complicated. I think that's the best way to put it. Okay. Due to your predicament with the whole dying mm -hmm. of what l luckily it was um, being know. banished here is fairly normal. So I'm going to return in a minute and I'm not going to be stuck here. I don't know. Well, let's hope that is the case. It, at least it is not like last time where I had to pull you out from the ocean. Oh, you pulled me up? I didn't know that. Well, thank you. So, uh, how have you been? There's something happening. You don't say. Um, death been around lately? You uh, seen them wearing my sister's skin for some reason still? They were here shortly, and they were weirdly happy as they delivered the new soul. Hmm. What soul would that be? Uh, you watch as he like reaches into his coat pocket. And he pulls out like 
a blood red crystal. No, hold on. I was working on that. It seems someone beat you to it. Well, good for them then. You're still looking for information from him, so that's a bit frustrating. But I suppose he's dealt with. Uh, well. Obviously, someone who could cast the banishment on four individuals at the same time like that would uh, be much more suited to the job to take on a ancient vampire than a novice mage, so. I, I'm i still not sure why death chose you. Right. My sister's skin and had a spoon to be in my sleep. It's getting uh, frustrating. But... Well, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Evie. Evie. Death is a complicated thing. You don't say. As I've told you, you know, in the near omnipresent. They see things they can't. They know they don't. Anything they do has a reason, even if it doesn't make sense at the moment. It's their reason. It's not the. Uh, it's not in a. <laughs> how? How? How ironic! It is a subjective reason. It is their own reason. And we don't understand it, not because it's not because they are unknowable, but it is because when you're around for so long, I assume you think different. People like us, no, well, like me, no. I don't know how long you've been around, but you are misunderstanding something very important. Well, then Death I understand. knows the future. Oh. Every right. possible outcome from every single decision. It is something only they can do. So when I say death has a reason for their plans, I do mean it. But the way you say that, they know all of the possibilities. They don't know which one it will be, though. Yes, that is... I'm assuming the reason they chose you is because in some future or at some point you become necessary. There is a future that cannot be reached without you. We no. just... I still don't appreciate it having puppet strings tied to me, but... I'll play along for now. All the same. I don't really have much of a choice anyway. For now. Anyway, uh, it's been probably about a minute. I'm sure I'll be zipping out of here in a moment. Hopefully. Well, I'm actually considering something. Well, enlighten me. A soul as such as this complicated. My job is to watch over souls until rebirth comes to connect them. Right, but uh, how I do that in action at the moment. Exactly, but it's how do we uh, there's some, okay. He's like thinking about how to say this. I should just patiently listen. Waiting. Forgive me, it, this is a very complicated system we have, even though it seems simple on the surface. I am allowed to give souls to whoever I please. She's going to look at Mr. Blood's soul. Go on. 
And normally my decision is to put the souls into this ocean till they live out their final moments and the rebirth comes. But at times I give it to other gods. And when he says gods, he does put it in quotation. He like quotation marks it. Oh, but the one he worshipped for isn't really around anymore. What a shame. That is the issue, is normally I would give him to them, but they do not exist anymore. That is the issue, the skill issue, if you will. And the poor soul evil that doesn't worship a certain being, I would normally send to hell, even though I did not invent hell. Mortals did, and mortals needed a reason to be kind because, well. Oh, that's interesting. It's an interesting bit of lore. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Thomas would love to do that. Well, when there are so many people hell bent on gaining power, murdering, and doing other things, the idea that at some point punishment comes to them is relieving. And that idea, that belief that no matter how evil someone is, punishment will come, is where hell stems from. So, what are you trying to get at here? What are you going to do with Mr. Blood's soul there? The old part five minute cast out of a powerful five minute punishment spell. <laughs> it's different planes. Time's weird. Shh, I can, I can have this. You are all getting long conversations. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I've asked. So, what do you plan on? What do you plan on doing with Mr. Blood's soul there? Then, what is the point you're getting at? I was thinking about letting you decide. If death seems fit to give you some special privilege in this, why should I not? Is there anything you want me to do for you in return? I believe it's only fair, really. I don't mind free gifts, but it's polite to ask. Well, all I need you to do is what do you think I should do with this story? What do I think you should do? Well, I don't know more about your love than me, but I think having him on hand would be very beneficial to a number of things I and we are working on back with the uh, group that has put together out there. We have questions for him about his sister, what he's doing. You could help us translate that fucking book. This is in a primordial, I'm sure. You know, it's kind of funny. There was a spell I was looking into about containing a soul. Well, if that is the case, then I shall do it. And he hands you the red crystal. Ash takes it. <laughs> and just looks at it. Just Saif is going to love this. And you can add to your death mark the soul of Talhindus. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fucking Pokemon Talhindus. Uh, yeah. Talhindus is in a Pokeball now. <laughs> gotta collect all the bosses. <laughs> collect Wait, all the vampires. This is where everyone gets an upgrade to their death mark. So... Yay! Uh, before or after Thomas cries? I forget, did Snorri ever actually get a benefit from his death mark? Because if so, I might have just forgotten about it and never used it. I don't um, think we have it yet. You get to add, um... Oh, we do. I have three things now. I don't know what the soul does. I assume it's going to be similar to a, a soul cage. So. Um, if I remember correctly, Snorri gets advantage on intelligence checks. Oh, I haven't been using that, so I should really, yeah, I should really do that. Um, it's like the number of times it's been longer as he gets to give himself advantage just, on television yeah. specs. Uh, is, that, is that proficiency bonus or like intelligence modifier? Like, what are we talking about here? Like, how many times? I would have to go through and find it. I don't have it, like, up for me right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, who wants an ash as he like hands that soul over to you? You feel banishment drop as you stop moving back to. Yep. 
Okay, who wants to go next? Uh, I'll do it if there's no one else talking. Um, real quick, I just have a question. I must. Is this? Is, can this? Is this going to act like the spell Soul Cage? No. No. Okay. I guess I'll get clarification later. It's a necromancy spell, so it fits. But so. For your upgrades, this is the one where I don't tell you what it does. Okay. I already have one of those. I mean, you didn't tell me what the I eyes swear. do. I, I still don't know fully what it does, but. <laughs> Wait. The mystery. Y'all are trying to murder me specifically. I think. With this yeah, Thomas. This Thomas. Is Thomas. Against me. Oh no, wait, not Thomas. To me. Okay. Well, I would love to try and do that with my Firebrand dice trademark. They roll very well, but only for me, not for you, Firebrand. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, mystery ability I gave you during the minute session was Thomas. What? <laughs> you guys say that again. My brain is not working. I was talking to. Oh my God! Why am I froze this boy? <clears throat> I was talking to. Uh, oh. Uh, the mystery ability I gave you was the session, the mini session. Yeah. Uh, mark of an old soul, and then I didn't get told what it does. Fire, I love you. I wasn't asking you. You literally just asked me. No, I said I was asking Zach. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, no. Safe. Yes. Um, as banishment is cast on you, you being the closest to him in the moment could see more of his face, and his. It seems like his entire face and what parts of your body can you can see have that like dead skin, dying body look to it. And then as you get hit by this banishment, you feel yourself get whipped into It's a forest still, but there's no snow on the ground. You can feel warmth on your body from the sun in the sky. Ah, well, this isn't so bad. Uh, would I know what banishment is? Um, you wouldn't know why you are... I'm going to say no. Banishment is a very high level spell. If I remember correctly, it's like I had it up and then I just forgot about it. Why did I, why did I close tabs? Fourth level? Oh, wow. I don't know. It's fifth level. I don't know why I closed tabs. I probably stopped doing that. Fourth level. Yeah. Um. I'm going to say no, but it's also going to explain to you why you are here. But uh, you know where you are at currently. You've been here before. This is the uh, plane of Bala. Ah, well, it could have been worse. It could have blown me off or something, I suppose. Uh, um... Gonna go find, 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 find big, big Bella. And um, just like before, you can find him on like a tree stump, playing on like a like testing out a loot. Well, uh, I appear to have uh, found my way back here. Oh, do not worry. I was informed of your arrival when the spell was cast. Can't complain. Uh, really? I mean, it seemed like a potent spellcaster they could just as easily have just shot lightning bolts at me or something. All in all, just getting sent directly here isn't so bad. Do you have any idea what, what happened with your presumably much uh, greater level of knowledge with the situation than mine? We'll be here for a little bit then go back. Ah, pretty simple. 
Do you know who that was? Or uh, I don't know who cast it on you. I just know. All I know is it was cast on you, and that made you come here. I just don't. I don't. I didn't see it happen. Yeah. Interesting spell. What's it called? Uh, banishment. Okay. Therefore, I will be able to. Whenever I see this happening, I will also. I will be able to. Uh, say what it is and appear intelligent. Thank you. Um, uh, how long roughly will I be here? I mean, while you are here, have you reconsidered your position? My position on what? Maybe that was the wrong. Your ideals, how you wish to treat yourself moving forward. I've, I've made myself some friends. Well, friends is maybe a stretch for some of them, but not all of them. And uh, it feels um, first time in quite a long time that I have some people that I can actually trust, which is useful. And uh, I'm going to recover really once. I am not in a position to go on my own anymore. I am not a, a powerful wizard or skilled combatant. So uh, I get. I know Thomas certainly needs me, and uh, if I'm honest, I need them. But I need all of them. If I'm going to get anything done on the material plane, I am happy you have realized that. People are a very important part of who we are. Those we surround ourselves, those we call friends, those we call lovers. Well, I got the first two down. But there's also a curious case of the Uh, you talk I just wanted to know. Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't hear anything that you said. The curious case of the what? I've decided it's, to take a uh, The curious case of uh, why you refuse to accept your, your potential. I, I don't quite understand what you mean. much you are one of my chosen you yet you refuse any other gift i wish to give you hmm. I'm, st I'm still not quite following um is there something i Am I failing you in some regard? Am I consciously rejecting something you're trying to give me? Or am I, may I failing to live up to your standards? No, 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 no. Every time I have come to you with an offer to not enhance yourself, but to improve upon the gifts I have given you, you had this sense of self-doubt that you were not worthy of them yet. Uh, well, to be perfectly honest, I don't really think I am white here. I just... I'd like you to know that you are doing an excellent job. Thank you very much. I think time is near. He, he looks at an imaginary watch on his wrist. I think time is nearly up. So, 
Consider. consider your place. And I don't mean that in a know your place kind of way, but consider your role in as well. What you are meant to do, what happiness you are meant to bring, who you are meant to take down. People like Tal Hindus. Tyrants. Tyrannus more. Yes, to tyrant. As he says tyrants, you feel banishment drop as you are sent back to the mortal plane. And you get the up you get an upgrade to your death mark. Upgrades into a you gain only Titan Spain. The what? Pirate's Bane. Whenever. I think this is literally a Warhammer ability with this exact name. Oh no. See if it's amazing. Entirely accidental. No, no, no. It's all connected. It's all connected. It, it's fate. It was fate. Okay. Victor's playing Warhammer all along. I don't play Warhammer. We're actually in uh, whatever the fuck the un Warhammer universe is called. I don't know shit about Warhammer. Space. Almost shit about space. Warhammer. <laughs> My understanding is space. Okay. Okay. So what do well, I know? What Tyrant's being does, or does it just? Is this a find out? Find out. Mess around and find it's out. A fuck around. You suddenly feel as though you are the band of tyrants, and you go, <laughs> "I think this." <laughs> and you and you and you say, "I think I'll call this ability tyrants." And credits roll. Um, whenever you roll for a sneak attack damage, you may re-roll once. Okay. Hmm. Ouch. You roll both dice or one only. <clears throat> One, any dice that comes up as a one for sneak attack damage, you may re-roll that dice. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty handy. How come he gets to know? How come Scythe gets to know? Uh, Scythe so doesn't take a mystical soul crystal that he doesn't know it much about. <laughs> that's fair. Yes. I'll just sit him down and cast Identify on him. It's fine. Like, I'm sorry, Zach, but you did take the option of can I have this? Can I have the soul crystal, please? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's mine now. I can do with it whatever I want. <clears throat> I like could eat it like a I'm like, I'm, I'm like Chomp. It. Just eat it and eat it and gain his powers. If you kill Tell Hindus, you become him. I don't want to become him. You become him in in abilities. In abilities. Yeah. Uh, Fire and Dave, who wants to go next? Mm -hmm. I think okay. you really want to see Dave's, but... Okay, okay, but I feel like it would be more narratively appropriate if Snorri went last, so I'm going to roll on my Firebrand D20 to see hey. what it has... Wait, wait, odds are even. No. If I roll Five. above, if I roll even. above a 10, then I... I go uh, after you. No, okay, that's good. I didn't flip a coin. Okay. Oh, you're fuck. You're right. Okay. Um. Well, I don't have a firebrand coin. That's okay. right. It's, you don't, because I don't make. Yeah. It. Okay. Maybe you should. That seems like a, a big gap in your business model. Anyway. Um. I roll. I rolled a twelve. So. Okay. I guess yeah, I'm going I guess, first. Yeah, I guess so. Cool. Thomas, yeah. same deal. Uh -huh. Weird looking hand turns around, cast banishments on you, and immediately you feel your something tighten around your neck. Your head jerk forward, and you swear you can feel your neck break. No, oh, that's fun. Um, uh, can I? Do I have my stuff still? 
Can I cut the news like I did in session in session zero? Well, this time you are like struggling to get air in. Yeah. Do I do I still have my stuff though? Like, can I cut it? Okay, I'm gonna try to cut the rope so that I'm not, you know, dying. That'd be pretty cool. Um, Thomas is struggling for air, but somehow letting out the most colorful and creative string of swear words that you can come oh, up with. I believe you are mistaken, Fire. You cannot talk right now. Yeah. But if you could... Um, can I cut the noose, please? Uh, you can attempt to. Yeah, that's what I was asking. How do I do that? Do you need me to roll for that? Roll attack on that? Or am I just gonna... No, you just fell. Oh, okay. Thanks. There's no, there's no hope here. There's no escaping punishments. Yeah, Thomas is having a bad time, as suspected. Um, I don't know that, what huh? you want me to do in this situation. And after you hang there for what feels like an eternity, he's having a bad day. A he's little red, crying. a a small little red guy, oh, it's... wearing a fancy a fancy suit, like a squished head with like very long ears, comes, sits on the gallows in front of you, and just looks up. Thomas is gonna spread his hands in a what the heck gesture, like, get me down, please. I don't know. Seems like you're hanging out pretty good. Eh? Uh, Thomas flips him off. Come on, is that necessary, really? I'm not the murderer here. This reminding me of that meme with the, the, the two like, side by side, the like very cordial council sitting in a circle, and then like the barroom fight. Right. I mean, do you really want down? You seem to be enjoying it up there. I think it's Thomas is just gonna hang there. He doesn't really. He doesn't really have much choice. The uh, the imp snaps his fingers, and you feel the neck. You feel the noose disappear as you drop to the gallows, and you feel your neck like correct itself. Uh, Thomas gasps for air, and then lets out that string of creative, um, curse words. You know, if you if you are smart enough to learn some more languages, you would know that those aren't very interesting ones. I mean, it's nothing like, and he said, and he says something in infernal that you understand, and essentially what he says in infernal <laughs> is like it translates to like. Hell choker, which doesn't make any sense to you. <laughs> Sounds bad. So, what should I do to get sent back here? Well, I don't know. I definitely don't want to be here. I mean, it makes sense for you to be here, honestly. Out of every plane, we aren't the ones that kind of kill you. After all, you have... How many years was it again? Yeah. A lot. yeah. <laughs> then he, like, opens his I'm hands... Not- a clipboard, right. lifts a page. 
Oh no, you'll 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 go back soon. We'll we'll take this out of your time. Yeah, we'll take a minute off the five hundred and forty-one years, twenty-seven minutes and nineteen seconds you owe. At least it's not twenty seconds. Why would it be twenty seconds? Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to be funny. I mean, that certainly was trying. So, like, when do I go? When the spell ends. Okay. I do have some good news for you. Do you remember that paperwork oh. we found? Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. It has officially gone from the first check to the second check. Whoa. That's like yeah. the fastest paperwork system I've ever seen. There's only 112 left. Wow. That is so handy. Look. Start playing the papers, please. Theme. Mm -hmm. Look, there's there's a lot of paperwork and specific, everything has to be perfect here. We aren't allowed to make mistakes. <laughs> but as I said, fifty years on like fifty years, it will reach the big man. He'll sort this all out for you. But until then, don't die. Ooh. That'd be really handy if everyone wasn't actively trying to kill me. I mean, can you really complain? How many people have you killed again? You exactly. right. <laughs> you are an excellent judge, moral character, and everyone should base themselves off you. I mean, I, I never said that. I'm saying it because you no. obviously are. It's actually so nice of you. Well, your time's almost up. It was fun. Oh. Maybe next time when you come back. I'll drop the noose bit, and I'll just put you on a spike. And we get, get creative. That's so cool. Can't wait. I mean, we, have, we have one guy rolling up a rolling a boulder up a hill for the rest of time. That's fine. Plagiarism. <laughs> oh, who? The, ancient Greece as a culture? Who? Or Sisyphean, Sisyphean's yeah. task, that sounds like. Yeah. It reminds me of that it. guy Sisyphus. You, you wouldn't know him, would you? Sisyphus? Uh, Thomas, you can advance and get lifted as you are sent back to the mortal plane. Sweet. Yep. That's so handy of, of that to happen. I didn't even get anything cool for it. I just got trauma. No, no, you're getting something cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it, so that's is it trauma? trauma? Yeah. Um, it is encouraged redemption. Encouraged redemption? I was like, like no, nah, not going back there. Whenever you do, whenever you use a smite, you may add your charisma modifier to the damage. Ooh. 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 Yeah. And if you... Sorry. If you smite cool. undead fiends or whatever the hell the rest of that list is that gives you extra smite damage, you double your charisma modifier. That's handy. It's very handy. If only I could smite more than once a week. <laughs> if only. Yeah, it's more than to give you all very powerful abilities. <laughs> 
Your smite does a bunch of extra damage. Shame you can't use it very often. Yeah. Anyway, Thomas is upsetting spaghetti. So Dave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're falling. The oh fuck! This is a shit again. Endless sea of stars and darkness as you can't seem to find any way to stop the momentum. As it as you get deeper and deeper in the what felt weightless air has turned to like this dense liquid that you are now falling through. And you watch as your body begins to crack. Your skin opening up to reveal, like, to reveal some of that liquid leaking from your own body. Backward. Backward. He's leaking. <laughs> um, he'll try and, like, in vain, just try, in vain, um, try and... <laughs> Um, like pat, like cover the the leaking, but it just it doesn't work, and he's just like frantically trying to, I don't know, figure something out, but he just can't. Uh, you 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 remember the way that your body is cracking open? It's the same way your father does in your memories now. That who? Your your your, your, your dad. Oh fuck! Yeah, I remember that. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, continue. And then, finally, when you feel like you're stopping, you feel liquid get down into your throat, down your lungs, and it just starts to feel as you feel your entire body tensing, trying to just get it out. Stop this from happening. And then, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, just, he keeps on just trying and trying to just, like, I don't know, like, spit it out to, like, close his, you know, like, the words, like, fluid is leaking, and he's just, like, it looks like he's, like, I don't know, it's like, it's like an animal chasing its own tail, almost, where he just, he's just, like, frantically moving around and it just it's n there's no possible chance that any of it could work but it's like that just is completely that thought is completely absent from his mind and finally when banishment is dropped and you're brought back to the mortal plane the cracks covering themselves up the liquid leaving your body even now you can tell that the corruption has spread you are no longer safe from it, even when not actively searching. Oh, great! Yay! We got and you can corrupted magic. Corrupted magic. Okay, great. Um, any spell of first level or higher that you cast that does damage. You may add your intelligence modifier as cosmic damage. Reminder, cosmic damage is basically unpreventable damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And by chance, do, do I have to make any, I don't know, unnamed rolls before, uh, during all of that? Or am I good for the time being? I was about to get to that. If you use this ability... You don't have to use this when you cast a spell, but if you do, you will have to roll. Cosmic damage it is completely unpreventable unless they're wearing a robe of the arc, my guy. In this case, they resist, get resistance to all magic spell-related damage. Then they are resistant. No, cosmic, cosmic damage, damage my cannot be stopped. My computer did the thing. What <laughs> What happens? What does it do? So, it all cosmic damage is. damage is a form of, like, true damage. If you are ever hit by cosmic damage, there is no way to prevent it. Okay, okay. Well, that's great until it isn't, and then that, yeah, okay. Great, okay. Yeah. 
I did some looking around, and uh, Tyrant's Beam isn't an ability. I, I got it confused with a different ability. It's called the ability I was confused with is called Lalo the Tyrant, and it is uh, also Recall Ones. That's incredible. And you are now all back on the mortal plane in front of the mansion. Well, it was once the mansion, as you now see that it is nothing but cinders. Oh, shit. Well, that's that was... Uh, in a minute. Yeah, um... Okay, uh, where, where was the vampire that was trying to kill us? Um, uh, or not kill us, I don't know. He, he was not kill... <laughs> Oh, I'm looking around for the cowboy and for him he's long gone. Well, oh, I have good news, everyone. Yeah, oh. cowboy gone. <laughs> Actually, she's gonna I was just going to say that Thomas is downright disheveled, which is not usually applied to him, and he has loosened his tie almost completely off. Um, would everyone have noticed this? this, is this obvious? Well, yeah, obvious. everyone would have noticed that Thomas, bad time. I can only assume that because it happened to me, everyone went to where they went last time. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, um, yes. not a pleasant experience, to say the least. Oh. But mine was alright, I think, since he did. In fact, um, I Ash is going to pull out the, the gem. Things. Oh. I was fine. The safe. Um, look who's fucking dead, and in literally the palm of my hand right now. <laughs> he, 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 he looks um, immediately for a side laugh. Well, you can't get any more fitting than that. Ignores my warnings and dies. Ignores my warnings that that is not lack of invulnerability. Down is literally the next day. Usually thrown over confidence. I'm just a little disappointed that we didn't get to enact our plan. I'm being honest, but whoever did clearly was more suited for it. I'll have to find them and let them know I strongly approve of that. Do you think it was the same person that banished us earlier? Uh, probably. It would be quite an unusual coincidence for them to show up at that exact time. Well, that's not good. Victor, you're hot miking like crazy. It's making it a little bit hard to hear, Kay. Okay. Uh... Hmm. I, uh, honestly, it's a, probably a me thing. I'll probably have to get a new microphone. No, no, it wasn't. It was no, it was, going it was Victor's mic was going bonk bonkers, and you're just quieter than everyone else. So, at least for me. Well, well, hmm. he's dead. So, ha ha. Oh yeah, here. <laughs> so hold it up. <laughs> Just like for you to look at. Yeah, uh, go ahead and gloat. Um, Thomas, are you? Good with one finger. <laughs> ding, ding. Look where your hubris has brought you, the Italian. Does. I wonder if you can hear me. I do hope you can. I do sincerely hope you can. I, I yeah, am... just, I just be sure not to drop. Bit or anything, uh, so that way he, um, he doesn't get out. I'm not quite sure that is how it works, but I... I don't fucking is... know. You just... You put yeah. you put one of the most powerful immortal beings on on this planet, and you just... You, you put him in, in, a, red, in a red thing, so... No. The, the rules are a bit... Um, we should have been... The rules don't account for this. Mr. Talhandis, in the event that you can hear us, uh, I told you so. <laughs> that is probably fair, though. I should be careful with it. I don't know what it can do, how easy it is to break, what happens if it does break. I'm going to sit down and uh, work on that. Maybe I'll find out if I do a little bit. She wiggles her fingers over it as she sits down. 
Well, you ought to figure out. Well, I do this. Why don't you ought to figure out what we're going to be doing next? Because um, she glances to the rubble. I don't think we can stay here any longer. Well, uh, if there's any way to gain access to the basement, it may still be uh, not imploded. That's it's certainly worth checking out, even though we'll probably not find much. Do um, all the ghouls and stuff look to be dead? Or like, can we see, see or hear movement? Or are they just appear to have all died of cringe whenever... This entire died. place has been burnt to the ground. You can't, you can't even like find bodies. This is like, this fire just destroyed everything in its path. How long has has it been since we've been gone? Uh, you are unsure. All right. Sure. Oh, I mean, it's not. I thought you should know. He tried to play down how uh, how the chess match went. I believe you won, right? Well, is that his, yeah, is that, that is, um, that brings a smile to my face, uh, with the long this, uh, less than pleasant, uh, experiences. He went on and on and on about how he is the best at everything he does. And then we asked him about Except yes, apparently. Yeah. He did play it down. He didn't seem too miffed, but I'm not the best at reading people, so... Uh, perhaps he has perfected uh, non, uh, pretending to not be salty. Perhaps. Uh, I'm going to ritually cast Identify on this thing, by the way. Are you casting Identify on Crystal? Yeah. So, ritually. yeah, I will send you, like, the full, li- the, uh, like, the thing for that sure. later. Yep. Uh, I'm you know. going to say this is a, this seems like a very good place to end the session. Yep. We gotta figure out how to navigate our way to. Ash is going to say we should navigate our way to the town skyway because obviously, you know, Ash is selfish. So that's just because that's where Sky is. Exactly. Yes. Transparently so. She's making it clear. That's why she's suggesting it. Yeah, there was a. There was a time limit on this thing the entire time. That's fine. Honestly, we got yeah, we got everything fun. we wanted out of him, except for maybe exploring the basement, but I don't know what we would have found there that would have changed much. Uh, Falcon's guest character. Oh, oh, sorry, Falcon. Bane. Died before you could even make it on screen. Oh. <laughs> you could have just... Did... You don't have to stick to a hard timetable, this GM. You can't just, oh, whatever would have happened, happened to a day later. Yeah. I mean, that's it's fine, though. Yeah. We were about to kill him anyway. We were just literally going to wait a day, investigate his basement, and then try to shank him with a spoon. So. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, character, no? I, oh I, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure that was a joke. That was a joke, right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> doing right. the Anakin patch. <laughs> Falcon's, <laughs> Falcon's upset about the cowboy. Extremely upset. Yeah. I don't know. Those messages honestly, because we're seven honestly, minutes yeah, apart. Been extremely funny. That would have been extremely funny if that was true. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think it is. Do not gaslight me. <laughs> Okay, okay, Falcon, prove it. Send us the character sheet. (laughs) Did Falcon actually have a character waiting under the manor for some reason? Yes. Did you you just kill her off screen because it didn't follow the time schedule? (laughs) Maybe. No, I'm just going to, uh, whether or not it's true at this point, I'm just going to believe it's not. I refuse to be gaslit. I'm just going to believe it's not true. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, if you want to gaslight yourself, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll gaslight myself into, uh, I'll just gaslight myself into, into believing that Falcon didn't actually have a guest character who was waiting. Hmm. 
Besides, if they just died, they just like the rest of us got yoinked away somewhere else and they're just fine now. <laughs> so just a little bit of yoinkage. Look, I mean, we needed a long rest before we were going to do anything anyway. And then like, burn the house. This is, this is Victor strategically burning the house down to deny everyone a long rest. Basically. No, no, y'all can still get long rest. Y'all can just, like, camp out here. Oh, cool. But it's not in, like, a safe space. It's in the rubble of a mansion. Uh, okay. Okay. Don't stop there's, there's, there's arguing to no not have an <laughs> Share the art then. We need share these. the art. Prove it. Do it. <laughs> you can share it. Share it. Give. You're not sharing. Okay, go. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm not sharing the art for this dead character who no longer matters for definitely who's definitely real. 100%. To be fair, it's not our fault you didn't show up. We didn't know you were in the basement. We were going to go. We were literally we're, going to the basement. We're, we're literally going, we're literally going there tomorrow. It's. <laughs> we're oh, uh, if y'all, like, a uh, quick little thing. The basement is where the fire started, so everything down there is destroyed. Okay. Y'all, y'all could figure that out if y'all like went to go find like the steps down. It was like just be a singed mess. Cool. We we ev we eventually uncover like this a stairwell and it's just like corpse annihilated. Falcon. <laughs> yeah, it's fa fa Falcon. Falcon. Okay, was that always planned? That's just this question. Was it always? Yeah, I mean, Victor. Victor that did. Random NPC would show up and elbow drop Talhindus, or was this just because we were too slow? Victor did. Uh, Repeat. I remember it's been you know like months, but Victor did say that there was like that they were keeping very specific track of time, like how long it took us to get there, and what we were doing with each of our days. So it seemed like this was planned, which is fine. I I had a time schedule in place from like since y'all left Rosewood, and, and then I've just honest, been keeping time. I, I didn't behind remember that, but. I have the memory of a goldfish, so. Yeah. But yeah, it was like, if y'all didn't figure out a way to kill him with the spoon before the NPC, NPC showed up, NPC was gonna fucking destroy everything. I mean, that's, that's fine. You just saved us the effort of possibly failing and dying, to be honest. I wanted to get the lore in the basement. Yeah, I did. I do want to, I did want to know what was actually in the basement, but... Yeah, one, like one genuine skull throne. Yeah, I was. You were so close. I was like, "Oh, they might actually do it." And it's like we're gonna wait two days. I was like, "Fuck." Well, we were gonna wait one, but we didn't. But we had. I forgot. We had to make the, the NPC end the make a navigation check. He got delayed by one day. <laughs> uh, no, he he has teleportation. He's fine. Okay, teleportation mishap. He accidentally scatters fifty miles in southeast. Yeah, I bet. I, I bet he doesn't know how to use a map. The rare skill in, in this world. Y'all can figure. Y'all can figure out who the cowboy is. It's not like it's a very well kept secret. <laughs> I, I swear to God. At Delta. first, I thought it was. Is, good. This, the, is this the dude who <laughs> runs the adventuring track? Is this, is this Isaac? Is, is this Isaac in disguise? Just going to beat the shit. Isaac. You said you said it was a cowboy, and I started and thought it was going to be uh, Dusty, and I was like, wait. The, oh, you did I actually mean, have you did womp. actually have a heart womp 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 womp. Should have allowed this person a chance to escape before death. Hold on, the green person, there's an unconscious green person being dragged. You said unconscious body, didn't you? Yes. Hey, they might come back, maybe. This is a secret tool, useful later. I mean, that's just assuming the unconscious body was talking character. I mean, there was green. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore the spoiler, because... <laughs> Oh look, they're green. 
no, you you should actually not ignore that spoiler. Oh well, it's a bit it's a bit late. I've already clicked it. Well, everyone, it's well, been a good I... run, but unfortunately, <laughs> Kay uh, is dead. Okay, been <laughs> killed. Yeah, <laughs> not, not just say. Uh, Kay herself has been killed. Well, maybe you should have been a bit more clear with the spoiler. Yeah, you can't I mean, look because I, I'm better, and you I'd, can't look because it's plot important, are two very different spoilers. If I knew Falcon actually had a character down there, I would have made the, I would have been like, hey, we should go anyway. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah. I, thought, I, I legitimately thought Falcon was just coming in to listen. I didn't know that they were waiting in the wings. I'm sorry. My plans are beyond your understanding. <clears throat> it's fine. I gave Asahara, <laughs> I gave Asahara a cool half of a cool gun and killed. <laughs> Wrote another you one. Give me instructions, characters out of what? instructions not to look. Yes, you told me not to look because you're better. That's not the same thing as I thought I mean, you were joking. Was... I didn't look at it, but I will say, yeah, those are two very different warnings. I, 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 I didn't click on it, but I fully thought there. I fully thought there would be just like a joke under the spoilers. But now that I know it's not, I won't click on it because now I know it's true, and now I do feel bad. Yeah. Oh. It has, I've been playing D and D since nine thirty. Yeah, I've been playing since. I'm tired. Ten thirty. Yeah. I am going to. Yeah. Okay.